Okay, in this video, what I want to do is demonstrate the JUnit test lifecycle. So it's very important. And there's a couple nuances here that we'll step through. But remember, we have the before all that's going to run at a class level, then before each test, then after each. And before each test, after each, those will repeat for each test method. And then finally, we'll have after all that will execute after all the tests have executed. So very important to the JUnit lifecycle. So we're gonna go ahead and do a demonstration of this inside of IntelliJ now. Okay, so I have, have on my screen the test that we've been working with. So we have the before each, hello world, and after each. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a control N teardown method. And I'm just gonna say, and let's go ahead and I'll run this. So you can see before each hello world, after each, and then before each, after each. So that, that's how that's, that's going to be occurring. Now, fortunately, IntelliJ does not have a shortcut. So if I come up here, uh, test, set up and tear down, just give me those parameters methods, something completely different, which we're not going to get into right now. So I need to implement that manually. And this needs to be public static. So it's very important that this is a static method, and that is a JUnit requirement for it to be a static method to be called. Let's do So I'm just doing before I am only called once. And let's go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to put it down at the bottom so we visualize this a little bit easier. And this is going to be after all. I'll rename this to after class. So let's go ahead and run everything in there. Yep. I've got to change him. I'll make it look a little different. So we can see that easier in the log. So let me rerun that and get the proper log. So now you can see before I am only called once. So that is coming from this very top one on uh, line 10 before class. And then we go through the, the test methods. And you can see that this is running. And now if I even added another test method, I go ahead and add one more in here. So we'll say hello to Sam as well. So you can see that the before each and after each are running with each test method. And then the two static methods, the one at the top there in line 10, that's getting called very first. And then again, the one after class on line 49, that is getting called at the very end. Now, you might be wondering, well, what if I just run one hello world? Let's take the one right in the middle. What happens then? So let's go ahead and see what happens from IntelliJ. You can specify a specific test. Now everything runs, but there's only one test method getting called. So before all gets called, the before each gets called, and the test method gets called, and then the after each gets called, and then the after method gets called. So there are ways to specify exactly which test you want to run, either at a specific test method or at the class level to run all tests or all tests within a package or all tests under tests. So, but the important thing to remember is if you're running multiple test classes, the before all is going to run for that specific test class, not for the whole test package. 